Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Big Weasel. Welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. Like I said last episode, I told you that I'm going to get this uh, sharpshooter bird mission done. And uh, I see on my screen right now is pause. And there are two birds right freaking there. I'm going to shoot one of them and end this sharpshooter challenge. Check that out. Boom. Done. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. So now this train is headed right back to... Alright, outfits. Oop. Journal. Brief. Hunter. Kill walls. Kill any two different types of animals in one dead eye, really. Um. Okay. That seems pretty simple. Hold on. I can't. I couldn't see it. Okay, we got an owl. Booyah! One, two, and that's two. Rank five, immediately. Easiest one, because you can do it literally from the train. It's pretty easy, because there's different types of birds. You can just do that sharpshooter challenge very quickly. Journal, challenges. Uh, she has off two enemy, two different people. Okay, gotta do that later. Melee knife. Uh, treasure hunter. And where is the next? Where is? It? Congratulations, you're a master hunter. You will now find more ammo at home or and at camp. Sweet, more ammo. Uh, where's the treasure map? Oh, okay. No, that is. It's tumbleweed. Legend of the West increases your maximum dead eye. I'd get the Legend of the West outfit. Uh, right here. Legend of the West. Uh, attain rank 10 in all ambient challenges. So basically, if I complete all the journal challenges, if I complete all of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, if I do all of them, reach rank 10, I get that uh, new outfit. It's pretty awesome. Increases your max. Increases max data! But I might do that maybe for the end, because holy crap, is that outfit really hard to get. So right now, I'm going to be headed to what is it? Uh, Armadillo. Oops. Going to go to Armadillo, do Wes Dickinson's thing here. And then, where's I don't, I don't really know where that's gonna take me though. But look at this view. Um, it looks like he's farting. Let's see that. Just this literally the longest fart ever. I am mature. I am very mature for my age. I'm 23. <laughs> Maturity has nothing to do with it. I just like making jokes. Alright, so... I can't come close. Um, um, ah! God, no! Can I get back on the train from here? Oh, step! I can! Wow, I, I can. Climb up. This is like GTA, wow. Come on, dude, it's not that hard. Hmm? I thought I was on the screen. Alright. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, and there I went. There I went. You okay, John? Okay, bird hunter. Uh, medicine. Uh, I, don't, I don't need medicine. 
He said bird hunter nearby. So what kind of shots are coming from? He's shooting these birds. I still haven't done the trick yet. To getting um all these birds. To getting like super money. Cause the reason I haven't done it yet is because it's so freaking tedious, and you're gonna need a lot of money to begin with, if you if you want to get like super money. I have like 294. I need like. Shut up. I need. No one. No one cares. Nobody cares. Come on. All right. I need like you need you need maybe four or five hundred before you even start trying to do it because. It's gonna get expensive for in a little bit. It's gonna get, it's gonna get really expensive because every time you do it, he doubles the money. And if you and if you and if you don't have enough money to bet him with, he keeps the money. You had to kill him. Okay, let's take him to the chair. All right, journal, journal, please. You know, I, I, I can do a mission. I can do the that crazy lady mission. <laughs> I can do that crazy lady mission real quick. There's this lady. Sitting up in the middle of nowhere. And she's I honestly gotta say she's being real stupid. Come on. Not taking the help that she can get. And it's it's real crazy. She's really pretty. If if, if I had played through the mission, if I had played through the first, the beginning cutscene, you we, we, you would have seen her before. But I messed up. So there's really no context to who she is really. She let's say that she is a very very religious person and she's she's very she's very church going she's a very very church going person go. oh, here we go she's right over here oh I've been signed up PSN sweet and right about oh weed some dank weed over here sweet Wait, dank weed. I don't need that. I never actually in this game. I never actually go out and pick plants because it's kind of easy. There she is. She's a lady from the cutscene in the beginning. The little girl. Mm-hmm. I'm an angel, all right. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello there. Mm-hmm. Howdy, Miss. What are you doing out here? Um. I'm thinking about what, dying? You look like you, you look like you're thinking real hard right now. Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yep, that's her. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Jenny from the block. Uh, and down she goes. Uh, I'm safe because I I have faith. Mm-hmm. So uh, faith can move mountains. It can. That's the whole point. What's okay? You're trying to move a mountain? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I same thing. I can't do anything, but with faith, I can achieve great things. You can't even stand up right that. now. How are you gonna achieve it. anything? You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? Mm-hmm. You seem kind of unwell. Oh, uh, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. Mm-hmm. The world is so beautiful. It is. It is, really. You've been thinking well, hard, haven't you? Kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's going to kill me, sir. Except Faith. Well? Faith will kill you. Take care, then. She's really sick. And down, <laughs> sh down she goes. Help Jenny by bringing her medicine. I got any medicine on me? Yep, I got one bottle of medicine. Look at her. This is this is this is. I'm gonna have to go ahead and say it. This is what happens when you put too much faith in the religion, and stop. And you you want religion, you want faith, like she just said, to do most of the the work while you just sit back. And believe in faith. I'm, I'm not saying, like, I, I didn't mean for this to get too too spicy. I'm not saying that religion is a bad thing. I'm just saying, don't put all of your faith in religion. Don't 
don't necessarily follow it by the book. Be yourself, be a person, be nice to everyone. Be be your own person. Use faith as like a guideline. Use faith as a guideline, but don't just straight up stick to it by the book. Cause you're gonna wind up like this lady out here in the middle of nowhere, dying of sickness and just believing that faith is just gonna do everything for you and save you. Kinda like right now, I'm gonna give her some medicine and she's gonna say that faith gave her some medicine. No, I gave you the medicine, damn it. I do believe in God. Miss Jenny. Mm-hmm. Why do you think you just Ms. let her Jenny. die? Miss Jenny. An angel. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. Mm-hmm. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. And oh. she's going to say... Oh, heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you saved me. Excuse me. I didn't look at what happens to her you afterwards. See, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. I wasn't ordered to... Tell me. <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny. Mm. Uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. See? <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. No. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. Mm -hmm. You're in some type of heaven. You're in some type of word that starts with an H, but it ain't heaven. Real quick, I'm gonna look at what happens to Jenny after this. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. After her completion, the player can also choose to kill her and loot her body. If one does so, he can get their medicine back. Taking her back to Armadillo by force via hostage has no significant result. All right, yeah, I'm back. So what I'm gonna do is, um, it's, it's no significance as to what happens, but a little thing, if you were to kidnap her and take her to um, the other state in Mexico, take her to the chapel down in Mexico. She will actually start praying there and do some stuff, and do some stuff. If you take her to the bar in Armadillo, take, like, take her inside the safe house, then release her to, in the bar in Armadillo, she will run downstairs and sit down somewhere. It doesn't do anything afterwards. It just, it's just a little something you can do if you want. I know. Get off me, coyote. I'm doing something. I'm doing something. Get off me. Don't hurt her. Don't you dare hurt her. Back up. Coyote. Damn coyote. Alright. Let's go, Jenny. Carry a victim. I'm gonna take her to this. I'm gonna take her into the safe house and see what happens. Boy. We got coyotes. Okay, put victim on horse. Go. Yeah, she's gonna die out here. And it'll, it'll read in the newspaper that's, or or somebody's gonna read out in a newspaper. I mean, somebody's gonna say that oh, this lady was found out in the middle of nowhere and she's dead. So I'm gonna do this instead. I'm about saving lives here. I'm not about... Listen. You can do whatever you want with your religion, but if I feel like I can save you, I'm gonna save you. I feel like it'd be more beneficial to save you than it is just to let you be. Then I'm gonna do it. Let's go. Alright. Genie from the block. I call her Jenny with the Glock. Careful, she's got a car. Slow down. And now, carry victim. So I'm gonna take her back into the safe house in this area. Don't mind me, boys. It's passing through. Don't mind me, Marshall. Marshall, please don't. Oh, Herbert Moon. What the fuck? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take her back into my room. Let's see what happens. Move, lady. I'm not here for that, miss. Oh. My apologies, officer. Excuse me, sir. All right, I'm gonna take her. 
close this door and have a little bit of fun. Uh, drop victim. And now cut her free. Let's see what let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Never done this before. And she's up. Where's she going? Hmm. Can't escape from me. Where are you going, Jenny? You are going to Shut up. I don't think my dear wife would appreciate that. And she's gone. Well, that was a fruitless adventure. Someone just stole the dude's horse. Get down from there. Whoops, get off the horse. Get off the horse. Get off the horse. Get back here, you. Got him. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm doing something. All right. Guy got his horse back. 15 bucks. All right. So, Ginny's gone. Get her there. And, uh, I guess we're going to end it here. Because that was literally the dumbest thing. A waste of time. Ever spent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. I made this mistake of Weasel. And I will see you in another episode of Fairy Fight. Hold on for a sec. Where is the train? Uh, the train is headed. The train headed this way? Hmm. If the train's headed this way, I think I might have an idea. I'm going to end this on a good note because this was just like a fruitless adventure. And I'm just gonna, I'm just going to do this to end it really nicely. I've been seen. And now, carry victim. Oh, do you hear that in the distance, madam? Oh, look over there. Looks like we got ourselves something fun. <laughs> this is going to be real fun. Hopefully your lord can save you. Oh, no, don't say something like that. Anyway. All right. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mr. Dougie Weasel, and I will see you on the next episode of Fair Fight. Goodbye.